Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game On, where I give first impressions of uh, various games. And today we're going to be looking at Magic the Gathering Jewels of the Planeswalkers 2013 edition. Uh, what does the edition have to do? Well, generally, any changes to rules between Magic the Gathering editions and different decks and different cards. So anyway, this is a Magic the Gathering computer game. It is um, a card-based game, as anyone that knows Magic the Gathering um, should imagine. Uh, if you've never heard of Magic the Gathering, well, then you're uh, going to see a bit of Magic the Gathering, although a bit of a computer version rather than the actual card game. The so very first thing to see is you have this really nice spinny menu, because I guess you can get this game on consoles and stuff, so it's a console-friendly menu, you just like cycle through of the thing, and then with mouse you can just drag thing around like that, so that's quite, you know, good. Second thing you can gather, nice music in the background. The music uh, for this game is rather cool and actually uh, fits the mood of the game, I think. Uh, it comes with, in the help and options, uh, how to play, general how to play, and then advanced how to play with all different abilities and different kinds of card. It also comes with a tutorial you can play. Various settings. It comes with uh, general settings like the difficulty, so I can say Archmage. Sound, graphics, full screen. I've turned full screen off for purposes of being able to see uh, live stream stuff. And preferences, zoom, played cards, um, all those kind of things. And advanced, hold priority. While on, you must let continue to end your main phases. Those kind of things. Browse entire library, see your entire library when searching for cards. Those are kind of things. Uh, then you've got controls, all the various controls, and you can map them and restore them to default. It's a rather good feature, especially for PC. Uh, and then credits, it's a rolling credits for all the people that created the game, so that's rather good in there. And that sort of, sort of stuff we need to cover. Uh, I'm just going to go and turn the sound down a little bit. It seems to be a bit loud. Uh, sound. There we go. No, no, back. Then this game does come with leaderboards, uh, achievements. So it's got various achievements. Uh, so it's only got 25, I think, on release. Uh, 20. 20 achievements. So it hasn't got too many achievements for Steam. And some of them are to do with, like, you know, completing certain challenges, complete a challenge all the ways it's meant to be solved. Uh, it has a deck manager to manage all the decks you've unlocked and cards you've unlocked. And if you... Because you can unlock more cards than you can actually have in the deck, so you can actually swap deck cards around. And It also gives an overview of the general purpose of the deck. So this has a lots of small deck... Uh, small creatures which are designed to get out quick. Uh, half... Uh, fairly or average uh, flexibility, fairly average synergy between the cards. This is really flexible, large creatures, but it's not very easy to get some of the cards out. That has, like, yeah, you can get cards out every turn, but very little flexibility, but a lot of synergy. And then this is a very flexible synergy deck with low deck speed and creature size. This is all about discarding things. They're decks I haven't unlocked. Uh, all the ones there are ones I unlocked. This one is a particular favourite of mine. I don't use it too much, uh, outside, you know, with my friends, because it is a kind of powerful deck that's kind of a bit gitty to use. Then you've got player status, your status, like which decks you use the most, view promotional unlocks, like they give you new unlocks for game, um, like you can go out to the card shop and claim items. It gives you all those kind of stuff for you to go and do. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then obviously all these achievements you've unlocked are here. Are here. And you can go to the leaderboards. It does include a single player campaign, which we'll have a quick look at. Um, we can have a look at all the various things. So this is uh, level 2 of the campaign. We have Jace uh, to fight. You've got these, which like, unlock help. They're, they're designed to unlock cards for your deck, basically. So like if you want to unlock more cards for a deck without playing multiplayer, you can do those. Uh, obviously, you can cheat, I guess, and unlock cards by letting your, you know, playing someone who never plays a card and lets you win. Uh, this is the next boss I need to beat. So you've got the standard campaign mode, you've got a revenge mode, which I have no idea how you unlock. Uh, plane chase, it's a very interesting game mode, and it's a very nice play. And you play all three of these at once. 
Then you've got challenges, which are like puzzles that are really hard to do, and you have to like overcome each challenge in order, and they are very hard. Admittedly, for me, this is my first match at the Gavin game, and I've never played the card game in real life, so I can see why it would be a issue for me to complete certain challenges. Uh, so that's single player. Then we've got multiplayer. You can like multiplayer against other people. And you've got custom games, so you can create a custom game between yourself and an NPC, uh, several NPCs or whatever. You've got extras, which, like, you can go on the website and stuff like that. Downloadable content, when there is downloadable content, you can, you know, when they add new map packs and new decks and stuff, you can download it here. But you know, there's, they'll, they'll eventually add DLC and stuff to the game, so that's what that's for. And then you've got the exit game. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to show you a multiplayer game, if I can get into one. So let's go to custom match. Uh, let's go to three, four, two, uh, two players, let's see if we can join one of these games. And show you a uh, multiplayer game. Show you a game against another player. Uh, gives you the better feeling of thing. And we get in the game, and I am ready to use my Celestial Light kind of gitty deck. It is the deck you got for pre-ordering, that's why it's all unlocked, because I don't play this game too often. I play it with my friends, I got it with, uh, the main reason I got this game was, uh, American friend of mine I went to play with, and I didn't have many games to play with, because we both play WoW, but obviously different server clusters from, from Europe. So we got this game to play with him, um, and it's a good fun game to play, and I've never really played this kind of game. I used to play, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards, never played Magic Gathering, similar to all the Warcraft game, card game, which I picked up for a while. Let's see if I can get him to respond and go, because he has to start the game, because he's created the lap match. Let's see if we can get him to start the game soon. I don't want to ramble on too much about the game without knowing, you know, without boring you, and this is a general, well, I guess, first impressions, general review, I guess. It's not really a first impressions, because, well, I've played the game for a bit, so... He doesn't seem to want to go... So, exit the current jewel. Go to 3 4 again. There's more games here now. Let's try one of these. Now, I'd choose the one with the crosses because. That me uh, Choose one of the ones with crosses because that means that um, when one of us leaves, we don't have a computer takeover because that's kind of annoying. You know, if someone leaves, they should win, really. The other person should win. Sorry, not the person that leaves wins. Come on, start the game. I'm a fairly impatient person. People should be, you know, if they create a match, they should be there watching it. Or at least window mode it like that, like I do, so I can tab out quickly, come back quickly to see if anyone's in the game. So, obviously, you get a choice to keep the hand or draw a different hand. This is a fairly good starting hand. She's insane. Yes, this is the best hand I could possibly start with. And I go first. So I'm going to try and get her out quickly because I'll show you what she does. Every time you play a car, uh, another creature, mine or theirs, I get one life. And the whole idea is to get the opponent to twenty, either get rid of their whole deck or down to twenty card, uh, down to no life. I've got the card advantage and the uh, life advantage based on this. <coughs> now this deck is unlockable in the game without pre-ordering. It's just those who pre-ordered obviously get it fully unlocked. So I'm going to use this deck. It is rather cheap, but it's a fun deck to play. I enjoy playing it. Especially against Jace. Oh yeah, Jace's deck. The one that tries to get me through my entire deck before I can do anything. Now what can't see? Uh, land. Load missionary. Eh, it's not necessary. Oh, have I ever played him? And if, uh, he's like a le lesser version of that card. Oh, uh, might as well get him out there. It only costs one thing to play. And I effectively get four life because of her. I get another life. So that's good. And obviously, you want to attack because he's got nothing on the field, anything he plays, unless it has haste, and that deck has very little haste in it. Can't attack the turn it lands, uh, so I've got no fear of having to block with it. Next turn, however, now he's got two down. Uh, J a lot of Jace's creatures cost two. And Jace's erasure, when you draw a card, you may have another target. Yeah. So he's trying to set it up so I lose all the cards I can. Fortunately, I'm not going to give him the chance, I hope. Can't do anything else apart from attack this turn. So I've already taken off three health. I mean, three health isn't a lot, but when you've only got twenty health to start with, it it's a bit. You know, it's a significant. You know, it's fairly significant. Obviously, this deck, I, this deck I've got can reach insane levels of health. Someone I've played with, 
got to the health level where they had just endless health. Literally just, they, they broke the game with so much health. The game crashed because of all the health they had. Let's so fly lifelink. Get that out. Lifelink, now fly means uh, he can't block it unless he's got a flyer. So that's a good kind of card to have out. It's got two attack and four defense. And I'll show you when, you know, attack is just generally damage I do to him. Now, you can't attack in most card games, you'll know, you can't really attack the turn you get placed down, you have like sickness, and this has the sickness. And it can attack next turn. If you've got haste, obviously you can attack on thing, and that's good. This, I'm going to try and get on that fly next turn, because I get plus three, plus three, and every time I deal damage to a player, I double my life. Literally just double the life I've got. It's an insane card, and it's going to hurt if I can get on that card next turn. But I need seven to get out. Is that six or seven? Six. And I've only got... Four. And you can place one lander turn off. Oh. What did he do? Oh, he did it and, yeah, made me. discarded it and made me draw a card. Oh, no, no, he just put it back into my hand and makes me draw a card. Fair enough. Gives it res sickness again, I guess. That's a fair thing to do. So, this card is an insanely powerful card in my deck, especially when you give it to a flyer. And as you can see, look, I'm at 26 health, he's at 13, I'm doing well, he's not. So, and also I am live streaming while I'm doing this, and hello to the two viewers, uh, the Sunker and the other person, welcome to the live stream. What's he made me discard? Uh, you may switch your library for a planes card, put onto the battlefield tapped. That's a useful card to have, but uh, it's not really life-threatening. My deck's at 83, his is at 50, at this rate he's going to go down before me. What's this one do? Yeah, he's going to return that to my hand. Great. Just as I can play my Celestial Mantle, which is an enchantment, not an equipment, I don't think. Yeah. So I can't swap it between creatures. And what's that? Oh, I'm going to draw an additional card. So, what should I play? Yeah, it's control against the Celestial Mantle's power. I'm not going to... Does that exile? Exile target creature. Yeah, I'm going to keep that for now. I need that out. And then next turn I can put the Celestial Mantle on it. So for those watching on live stream, I am just doing a, you know, a uh, game on, you know, kind of impression review of the game. And obviously that can actually block me now. So And it has two attack and two defense. So it means it'll kill me easily. And I won't do enough attack when it blocks one of my guys to... Um, damage it. You need to do two in one turn to kill it. Now, you can wonder, well, how can he block? Well, because you can still block if you've got attack sickness. And he is trying to get rid of my cards and making me discard a lot. Another cartographer. Another land. If he can't, hasn't got a way to get that into my hand, he is going to be... Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. That was... Nasty hand to him to play. Got rid of my celestial mantle. Nice play. Unfortunately, I've got these two of these. I <laughs> destroy these things and get rid of them now. It's quite good. I'd mess with him. Mess with Jace's deck. This is <laughs> this is like the antipode. What was Jace's deck? Seriously, you're going to try and make me discard my entire deck, mate. Right. No. Let's see, this is two. Let's get that out. Every turn I gain health. No, every time I cast a spell I gain health. <laughs> and creatures count as spells. And hello, Swordbreaker. No, this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh! It's Magic the Gathering. In the game. That's good. Every time we gain life, I put a counter. So he's quite good. He gain he gets stronger the more life I gain. Hmm. I wonder if that will benefit with that. Yes, it will. And with that, whenever he plays a creature. So we want to get him out. But just seeing what other stuff. Yeah, let's get him out. And we can discard one of his silly things at the moment. So which one is that? Mm, we can get rid of that, or we can get rid of these. Let's get rid of the one where he discards cards. I'd rather draw cards than discard them. Again, I've played a spell, so that gets even stronger. So he is going to feel pain very soon. Especially when every time I... I uh, let attack with that. He can attack, so I'll keep... No, I can block with that, so I can just do those. Oh, no, he can block one of those. Eh, fair enough, he can destroy one card. In fact, he'll probably destroy that. 
What the? Okay, idiot, idiot. He destroys the thing that doesn't do anything anymore, instead of destroying the one that every time he plays a creature or I play a creature, I get life. Life link, gain life, and that gets stronger. So, so let's see how this deck works. I'm already at 37 life, he's at 10. I'm gaining one life from that whenever I play a spell. I gain one life from that every time I play or creature or he plays a creature. Every time I gain life, that gets stronger by 1-1. One, one. Now he can obviously discard it, or put it back into my hand, and he's got- Oh, Mind Control. That's nasty. That's nasty. Guess what? I've still got a way to break that enchantment. So that's good. Fortunately, it keeps combat sickness until it spends the whole turn with it. And I don't see why he's doing that. Oh, because that, yeah, because that's tapped, I can't block. Clever, but not enough to help him. So, let's get that out. Uh, let's see what other cards got that, that. Let's get that. Target that enchantment. Oh, he's going to try and cancel it. Yeah, he's got a cancel. Great. So he's going to keep control of my creature. Fortunately, no, he isn't. I can exile it. If I can't have it, he can't have it. And then I'm just going to play that to give me more life. Oh, no, no, oh, that. Life link. And if I gain life, I'd gain twice as much of that instead. So. With that, and I gain instead of two life, I gain four. So I should go up to forty-four. Yep. So you see, I'm not very good at this game necessarily. I'm not amazing at this game, but I'm okay. And it is a good first impression. I did want to show you a standard game, and I'm playing well, this game is, that I'm showing you is two of the douchiest decks in the game at the moment. Jace's is annoying and my deck's annoying. And they're fighting each other and they do com you know, they do combat each other quite well. Jace's is more powerful obviously. He, I mean, if he had the same amount of cards as me at the start, he'd be winning hands down based on deck. But I'm winning based on life. So it's kind of which one can you do first? Beat them or get more life? <laughs> that would have been not nasty if he'd make me discard cards when I needed that anymore. But I got rid of that card so that's quite good. I think there's only two of those in this deck, so we've got to worry about that. Soon. And he's currently not doing anything, so he's probably pulling his pants going, Oh, what do I do? What do I do? There's got to be something I can do. Oh! And he cloned my flyer. Have fun with that, mate. I'm willing to sacrifice my flyer. I guess you're not. You need the life. Oh, um, that gets 5-5, five, five. yep. One to play and he gets 5-5. Five, five. Oh, he's going to try and cancel it again. Come on, use your counter spell. Use your counter spell. No, it's against an actual player, hence why he's able to pause so efficiently. Or inefficiently. And he actually wanted to see what... Oh, he's seeing what their effects are, that's why. Oh, I'm just going to use that. He's going to block with his flyer. I gain twice. I gain eight life. He gain. No, I gain four life. He gains two. Oh look, it's two four two four. Haha. <laughs> Can't kill each other. That, however, can kill him. That, however, can kill me. Five five. But I'm getting life all the time, and there is a card which, if it stays in play, for at the, if it's in play at the start of my next turn, I automatically win the game if I've got 40 or more health. I've got 60 health. So, as long as I get that card and he hasn't discarded it... Nope. Okay, I'm just going to do that. No! He's got a buff. That's interesting, because the block already happened. Yeah, it did. 
hence why the attack failed. <laughs> Life link is easy. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Now uh, one of my friends, let's get this out. Uh, I gain four life, let's get that out. All he does is by returning cards to my hand, when giving me you know a chance to play them. It, that's the one you just returned to my hand, you know what it does. Oh, you're gonna counter spell it. Wow. Big I care a lot. Okay, let's get this out. Oh yeah, and by the way, that thing therefore doubles the, the one life I get for that. Uh, for that and that. Let's say I just get a life for claiming a spell and a life for claiming a monster. Two life from each. Nice. Sorry if I'm coming off with smug, but I do enjoy winning. So, yes. He's going to block that. He can block that. That will kill me. It won't kill him. At the moment, it's safer for me to not attack. Obviously, with my drawing two cards every turn, I'll eventually have to discard land. But since I don't need land at the moment, you know, I'm creature star you know, I'm creature starved, not land starved. He seems to be in the same situation. His deck has very limited creatures. His deck is all about making me discard cards, while having cards like that that are cheap to pay, uh, uh, get out, and can hurt. Unfortunately, his deck hasn't really got much to combat me once I get rid of his discard deck. Oh. Is he getting rid of my creature? No, he hasn't got rid of my creature yet. That's nice. As long as he doesn't get rid of my creature, I'm fine. Now, to be fair, I'd love playing him with the undead deck. Uh, there's one deck that every time an enemy draws a card, they lose life for each card they draw. What's that? Is that more? Target opponent reveals life before the top of the discard until he loses a creature. I'm sure all on creature cards reveal in this way until we have their new, but the creature only might feel under control. Wait. Damn it! He got my creature. The one that wins if you have 40 more life. With vigilance, we can attack. Dang it. Could do that, but I just gain life from you attacking me. Okay, I'll just block with this and gain life. That's I've got to destroy. Or I've got to attack him in one turn with so much force he can't block. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Uh chapman at the beginning. Let's get that out. Uh, let's get that out. <laughs> and that's a sick thing. Death Dutch, I kill you. That, equip it to that. Attack, he'll block with that, because that's the only thing that can block. And I'll kill it. I'll kill it and gain uh, eight li uh, four life. Come on, block. Come on, you know you wanna. And if you don't, well, I gain eight life. I gain four life. Okay, don't block. Don't block. Fair enough. He's just gonna try and attack me in his turn on that basis. And I can actually swap the card then. Mm -hmm. Let's swap it. Let's swap it to that. For next turn, when he attacks. No, let's swap a bit for that, because I don't care at the moment. I can just swap between them, I don't really mind. And I'll quickly say to again, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching this, by the way, and I hope you're enjoying it. And for those watching it on uh, live stream, uh, you know, watching my live stream right now, hope you're enjoying this as well. Uh, put top two cards of the library into this graveyard. Put top two cards, uh, draws two cards and discards two cards. That one I don't mind, because I can get rid of land. I've got enough land, I've got enough land to choke people on. Plains, I've got enough plain land to have a field of cattle. Come on then. Oh, <laughs> he just saw my death touch. <laughs> Come on then. Uh, I can't play that. That one. I'll keep that. 
Six flyer. I don't need to attack at the moment. I've got 92 health. I'm going to make him pay. Oh no! You got so much land, mate. I'm not really scared about that. That's early game card. It's not a very late game card. Activate my trap card. Oh boy, Yu-Gi-Oh coats. Now I can get my peace strider. Oh, he has some land, and he just wanted to get his creatures. Get another one of these out. Because they're fun when they're on the field. Uh, artifact, creature, construct. I gain six life. So, what did that do? Tap if it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't untap during its next. Okay. And that got put on the field, okay, yeah. Put X... Right. I'll wait for next turn when I've got more land available to play that, because I get X tokens, which are nice. That will make him pay. I'll keep that for when he attacks. <laughs> you ain't gonna like me next turn, mate. You ain't gonna like me. Continue again. So this is a very fun game, very tactical, very like, do you play cards now or do you play them later, the kind of thing. Oh, makes me discard a couple of cards. Yeah. Oh, that card's a nice card to have. First right, I think. Make me discard another. <laughs> Damn, just from straw creatures. Not really, I want to, but uh, some of those cards were good. Oh, I got rid of my other Pride Mate. <sighs> he's got rid of some of the cards I like, but nothing really important. And he's wondering why I'm not doing it. Well, actually, I don't think he's wondering that. I think he's, you know, understanding that. Because he can block multiple cards. If I attack with that, he can block with those two. Kill me, I kill one of them. If he had, you know. So in the, mo at the moment, he's just trying to make me blow my deck. That's all he's trying to do. Oh, he got rid of that. That's kind of annoying. I do, uh, even though it's not very threatening, I mean, it's quite nice. If you get two of them, you can play a lot of creatures for free. So you get a whole hand of creatures to play, play, play free. Enchant mm, creature, you control enchanted creature. That's a nice card. Right, first let's play that. Right. That's a nice one. Put it on his force. Put it on his flyer. Put it on a flyer. Wait, some of the zenith. <laughs> I'm tempted just to play that. I'm tempted to play that and be an annoying git to him. But it hurts me. I think I can put that out back out. Yeah, let's play it. Play that. Let's put six tokens out. Oh. 
Uh, next turn you are mine, mate. Next turn you are mine. Though he does have a lot of things to get cards out himself. That. Yeah. You're getting there. He's only got three cards in his hand left. Right, get one of those. Oh, that's not what he wanted. Shuffle your graveyard into the owner's library. <laughs> oh, look, you know that card, tw that twenty-two card deck? It's gonna be full again. Let me change. We get five. Out. Let's get that out. I've seriously just my my hand. This hand's just messed. This deck just messes with Jace so bad. Put that down so I can never lose on life. To annoy him, and then <laughs> my seventy-two card deck. Block, block, attack, 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 attack. Now I gain two life for every time he plays, and he's down to two. Next turn, I win. Oh, and because my deck's gone below a certain amount, it's only a 1-1 flyer again. Oh, boy. And I just love you, Swordbreaker, one of my live streamers here for you're watching on YouTube. And, well, Swordbreaker might be watching this on YouTube again afterwards, I guess, because he may have missed some of this. Him. It's he, just his quotes are all like, Summon Pikachu, activate your trap card, use Ignite. Or exhaust him, or flash over the wall to safety, ghost into battle. <laughs> what? StarCraft 2, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and... I guess League of Legends quotes? That one's annoying. He's got some annoying cards, but I'm getting two life for each one, so I don't, my life doesn't care. This is where my de- Oh boy. Uh, right. What's this? Oh my best card! Oh, sorry, oh my best card's right. Put you out. And then gain life from that, gain life from that. Put you out. And then I guess. <laughs> It goes up to seven and that goes up to like five. And uh, put that out. <laughs> Those cards are just insane. To be fair though, uh, Swordbreaker, there's nothing really you can do to distract me when I'm about to kick him so hard. <laughs> 178 health. Oh boy. And this battle's going to be immortalised on YouTube for him to see. I could end it next turn, or I could be really arrogant and just do this for the next, like, 10 turns. Have them get up to them loads of health and just watch my health rise. And just watch my health rise all the time. <laughs> this is just insane. Quit that to that. I could end him. I could end him. And he knows it. He knows it. I'm just messing with him. I just want to see my life go to an insane amount. I want that card that uh, doubles my life if I do damage to him. And he just lost his own... Oh, well, he's just lost in his next turn because he wiped out his own deck while doing very little damage to me. Oh, well, he's already lost. I don't need to worry about anything. Numpty.
he just wipe out himself? Fair enough. I guess he didn't want to play with me because he knew I was just going to... Oh, well. See if he quits. Anyway, uh, I'm going to back out of that because I don't want to do another game like that because that was just so funny and so unfair to him. And he did use a bucket load of... Uh, well, to be fair, he was using a cheesy deck as well. It's not as if I was using a cheesy deck and he was using one of the more balanced decks. He was using one of the most annoying cheesy decks there is in this game. So, uh, hopefully that's given you a quick overview of the game. Uh, general... Uh, overview of the game and hopefully it gives you an opinion of the game for everyone watching this on YouTube. Uh, people watching my live stream I will continue to play after this video is finished recording. So anyway, thank you very much for watching on YouTube. Um, if you like this video please do you know like the video, do comment about you know what you like about it and please do subscribe if you like my videos and you can check out the other videos on my channel. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and goodbye.